John, Matt, Will, Tim, and Tillian. Oh, God, what am I doing? <laughs> Sounds like Tiny Tim. Hey, um, name that tune. Name that tune. You guys are probably too young to have watched this one. If you know it, if you look it up, you're cheating. If you just know it off the top of your head, you win a lot of things. My name is David Morgan. This is The Music Shed. Do all the liking and all that stuff, subscribing and commenting. Now, it's only because of the comments that you guys leave that we're doing this song. By one of my favorite new bands for me, to me, is, is DGD. That's, that's short for Dance Gavin Dance in, 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 the, in the inner circles, which I'm now a part of because I have a t-shirt. I'm not wearing it today. But my, my man sent me a t-shirt and I know he's watching. One of our subscribers, his name is Dylan Warner, sent me this t-shirt like two weeks ago. I love you for sending me the t-shirt. And um, Dance Gavin Dance, We Own the Night live performance. It's live performances that really show me what a band is capable of. And what I've heard from these guys so far is stellar. John, Matt, Will, Tim, and Tillian. We Own the Night Live. It's from 2017 when I was a young, very young child and uh, was just growing up still in diapers. And um, let's get right to it. I thank you, Dance Gavin Dance fans. Thank you for supporting us. It really means a lot. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm really actually being serious. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Now, what is that little thing on the side that 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 looks like a little bouncy house or some kind of a fun little thing that you could like slide off of? That's kind of that's fun. Um, it must be very hot where they are because there's a lot of sweat pouring down. And I like the the nakedness of this the stripped down guitar and vocal at the beginning. Tillian's got a rough job. His his range is so great to really be able to hit those high notes the way that he does. Like, you got to understand, when I go on the road and I'm playing piano every night, my hands aren't tired the next day. I don't need to do any rehabilitation on my hands or my, you know, my... Tillian's vocal cords, a, a singer, a singer who sings like this, who's really pushing the limits of their range night after night, day after day on the road, it is takes it takes a toll on your voice. And I just commend these singers who are doing it, who are going on the road and sounding as great as they do, hitting all those notes. Phenomenal. I love it. And these guys have so much heart. Okay, so they, they did that. Those insanely high notes that Tillian's holding in the background. And then John comes in with his deal that only really he can do. It's so it's such a unique thing that they've got going. Um, and we're paused right now on Will Swan's uh, guitar. I know there's a certain there's certain techniques or things that he does that are very unique to him, and it's tapping. It's it's a and and, and Swan Core is a name of I've learned that, that that there's a there's a name for for what he's bringing to the music, and it's called Swan Core. Um, 
I just love these guys. I love their energy. Their musicianship is just incredible. And their the song itself is really pretty. It's a pretty song with all of this amazing musicianship underneath it. Um, and his guitar looks really cool. Really, really, really cool. It just looks old and weathered. And I, I think, I don't know. It just looks cool. He's cool. And his shirt matches his guitar, which is really important. It's not important. Dynamics. Bring it down. Voice of an angel. I love the drummer too. Listen to how the bass player, um, and I'm having a hard time doing this dual screen thing here. The bass player, his his sound, Tim, he's got, the sound is so, you can get so many sounds out of a bass guitar. It is, you know, with different kinds of basses, whether it's like a P bass or a jazz bass or whatever, there's a million kinds of basses, an Olympic bass, there's so many different, but if you play with a pick, if you use more distortion, if you, you know, listen to the difference between this bass tone and then James Jamerson's bass sound. I mean, it's with the same exact bass, you can get a very, very different sound. This happens to be a very rock and roll bass sound. It's just very edgy and gritty. And just listen, you know, the bass is something that is not highlighted or paid that much attention to. I think especially by fans. It's a very underappreciated instrument. The bass is such an important part of the rock sound. Whatever genre of rock you're dealing with, the bass guitar, the electric bass is is, is huge. 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 In the whole in the whole deal. Okay. And I want to point out, Tim, we appreciate you. You are phenomenal. What a range. Here they go. Okay, they're changing. They're changing the the rhythm, the time, and stuff around right now. Look also at how focused, how focused they are. How like they're ninjas. They're musical ninjas. On stage, it takes so much energy and focus and concentration, and you get in this zone. That you're, it's like you're, you're in a med, you're meditating at the same time. It's a really, it's a really weird thing. And I can see like, I can see them in the, in a trance, in their own world. And it's just bringing the whole audience, everyone's coming with you in this, in this thing. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like this song. Totally changed the groove. Matt Mingus. 
great beard. Huh. John Ness. What a fun band to be in. What a f- it looks like they're just having a, so much fun. The music is so interesting. And they've got they've got they really do have a sound. Now, I have not yet heard any of the other Dance Gavin dance singers except for Tillian. I know you guys are are telling me to check out Johnny. Uh forget what his last name is john john johnny something um what a great song what a wonderful song and um hearing them live hearing tillian's voice live that he's able to really that he and john are really able to do this live is just it's badass it's like you're you're in a different on a different level it's one thing to do it in the studio where you can have as many takes as you want. And you can take a break and you can go to lunch and you can come back if you're not getting it. When you're live like this, you get one shot. And they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Very cool. Thank you guys for for you know for me to go on this 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 journey with Dance Gavin Dance has been really a pleasure for me. And I'm really happy that I I know of them and I'm getting to know them better as a band. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon with all those good things. And <clears throat> to leave comments, you DGDs are really good to us. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming along. And this is for you. Have a musical day. <laughs> <laughs>